Touch God Racing has probably doubled in size over the last year or so. Mike came in busy at the sale. Let's start with what you've bought this evening. Warburton, of course, you liked a lot. Big white face, is that, is that what you liked about him? <laughs> um, he's got some good form in the UK. He's run four times. He's come from Charlie Appleby. Um, he's by Dawn Approach, which is obviously an untried sire on dirt. Uh, he's a nice horse. I mean, we don't know if he'll go on dirt. New approaches tend not to, but Dawn Approach's mother, at least, was from an American family, so there's some hope on that side. But he's still a maiden, uh, so we'll get him going. And first job is to break the maiden. Hmm, okay, plenty of opportunities and valuable maidens, I suppose, which is a nice thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the main reason for all the sudden mass buying is the uh, prize money boosts. Um, we thought we'd try and capitalise on that. So, hmm, okay. good luck with him. And Majestic Thunder as well. I thought quite a nice prize there. Yeah, I mean, you don't get many unraced Dubawis for as cheap as that. Um, it could be anything. He could be nothing. So. Well, at the price, it, you know, it's a nice kind of horse to get some new people involved, perhaps. And did you pay more or less than you thought you would this evening? Uh, the first one was 45 less than my budget, and the second one was 25 less than my budget. Nice. And you say mass buying. You added three to the team in America over the summer. That's correct, yeah. Um, we've got two horses coming, shipping over, uh, that are going to Doug Watson at Red Stables. Uh, a six-year-old gelding called Pop the Hood. He's going to be rated 98, so he'll go straight into carnival races. Uh, and something a bit different for us, a two-year-old called The Song of John. Uh, they're giving him a rating of 93, so he'll go straight into the nice races. He won on his debut, uh, albeit at Indiana Downs, and then um, showed good speed in a grade three at Churchill Downs. Um, so yeah, he'll go straight to Doug and we'll see how we get on with him. And the other one is in partnership with Hot Scott Racing. Yes, correct. Our friends at Hot Scott Racing Stable, uh, they claimed a horse called Shanghai Schwartz that was with Chad Brown. Um, he's won his last two starts in a 40 claimer and a 16 claimer, so he was only $16,000. Um, yeah, and we're partnering up with them. He's coming over and he'll go to Satish at Zabil. And also with Satish at Zabil is the newly gelded first down who you got from Ali Rashid Rahi at the horses in training sale. Yep. He's, uh, he's going well so far. He's, uh, he's going to start this season rated 71. I believe last season he started rated 81 for Ali. Uh, ran 11 times last year. We'll probably run him a little less often than that and um, space the races out and try to get the best out of him. Off 71, he should be well handicapped. And the stable star is still doing all right, Ravens Corner? Yeah, Ravens is back in full training. Um, we hope for a bit more luck with him this season. Uh, Last season wasn't easy. Obviously, there was the stalls incident to start with. Um, we ended up having to start him off in a grade three, which is an ideal, having previously won off just 90 in a handicap. Um, the three graded races he ran in last season, he drew the outside post all three times. So we'll get a bit better luck with the draw and he stays sound. I think we'll have a better season with him this year.